After training under some of the world's best chefs, including Marco Pierre White, Peter Gordon and Emmanuel Renault, he became head chef at the acclaimed Melbourne establishment de Voudemont, where he met a very own Mark Salvin. That could have been trouble. Now he's the chef and owner of one of Asia's finest, the Tippling Club, which please welcome to the cafe, Ryan Clift. How are you, Ryan? How's it going? Thank you. Good. First visit to New Zealand. How have you found it so far? Um, a whirlwind 24 hours so far. Nice. It's, um, <laughs> uh, but uh, no, it's super exciting. My first time here, so really happy to be here. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. And you've got you've obviously done work with this guy before. Yeah. Who's never actually bowed out onto his desk. Usually he stays in the kitchen. Yeah, I know. He just told like me, goes, I'm going to the table. I feel all excited. I know, so, Mark, just look at me. Look at my eyes. Don't look at the cameras. Look at me, okay? Look at me. Any eyes and eyes like that. <laughs> um, so any stories that you want to share with us? Okay. No, I mean, uh, I worked on. with this boy for a few years. Yeah, well, he worked for me for a few years yeah, in yeah. Melbourne. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a great time. And obviously I left um, Australia. And he left Australia at the same time, pretty much. And we both went our separate direction. And, you know, 12 years later, we're, we're oh, meeting together in, in New Zealand. So That's right, cooking on the cafe, yeah, which is super great. Super exciting. Did you see the potential in him when you were there? And no, he was the useless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he turned up for me 30 minutes late to the airport yesterday. That was like the story of his life. It's like, <laughs> it wasn't he hasn't my changed fault, at all. Though. He hasn't changed at all. <laughs> oh, we did, we, I took him out to some farms yesterday, so we got some yeah. produce. We did a bit no, of foraging. I mean, that was great. I mean, straight off the plane, straight into a farm yesterday, picking all our herbs for our dinner. So you've got farms yourself? I have three farms in Singapore. Um, and I also have um, not just Tippling Club, I have four restaurants in Singapore, but I also have um, a beautiful little 50 bedroom hotel in Bali. Oh, that sounds nice. Um, we'll go there for a show one day. Yeah. In, yeah, yeah. 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 in Bali, we have a beautiful farm as well, so we're growing all our own vegetables there. So it's something I'm very passionate about. And is that what we're looking at now? Yeah. You're out there foraging. Uh, foraging is when you go and pick it in the wild. This is actually one of our farms in Singapore. So, so it's farming, is what he's doing. Nice. Yes. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. So how did you get into uh, cooking, Ryan? Because you see, you know, you're so successful and you're young, much like Mark. Um, so what, what got you started? Um, uh, necessity, really. I started in a one-star Michelin when I was 13 years old. Uh, I left school at 12. Uh, I've not really had an education. You left right. school at 12? I left school at 12. Wow. Uh, moved into my first restaurant career or job at 13. And really, I've never looked back. It's, that's been my life, really. Um, this year is like 29 years of wow. cooking professionally. Gosh, and most people retire after that. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm just getting started in my. I'm just getting started in my opinion. Um, but look where it's taken you. It's like all yeah. around the world. Yeah. Like, yeah, and that's the beauty of our job. I mean, you're, you're never out of work. You can always have fun. You make great people. Yeah. All around the world. And you're in New Zealand now for this event. And Tell us a little Zealand. bit about this thing tonight. Uh, so tonight uh, we're going to be doing a nice little humble introduction to. The Tippling Club, uh, so a lot of fun. The, f the food we do, you're going to see in a moment, is um, technical, but at the same time, it's for me, it's all about flavour. It's all about textures, tastes, uh, sights around. Yeah. You're going to see it. Well, it has to be. I mean, at the end of the day, there's no point putting something on the plate if it's not going to taste good. Exactly. So everything on the plate is, is, you know, it's got reason, it's got texture, it has it's got flavour. Exactly. exactly. And it's and it's great. And it's fun. And we've been prepping this for the last sort of like two, three days at the restaurant, like intensively. <laughs> Um, so and, and they, so I can tell you the meal. Will be perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I this bloody hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Mark, I wanted to ask you this question. What do you think makes him a great chef? What do you think he's been so successful? Oh, I, I think it's just his passion. It's uh, you know, I mean, I've, I've worked around the world and I worked for a lot of uh, chefs uh, in my time and a lot of head chefs, and and still, probably to this day, is like Ryan's one of the the most passionate, intense. Um, you know, chefs all focused on food, and you know he never stays in one place. You know, he's, he's always trying to get better and better and better. And and you know, since the 12 years that we worked together, you know, he's he's you know he's on the other side of the world. He's got four restaurants. He's in a hotel. He's like you know traveling all over the world. It's just fantastic. Mm. You know, it's exciting. Ryan, what do you think about um, the New Zealand flavors? Um, look, you know, um, I was lucky to know and work with Peter Gordon many years ago. We're talking 25 years ago. Great guy and you know the ingredients that come from this country are insane. I mean I actually use a lot of kiwi produce in in Singapore. Great. And we're, we're very fortunate that in Singapore we can import anything we want pretty much. Um, and yeah like the seafood you get from here, everything like tomorrow, yeah. uh, tonight, the turbot that's coming in. Um, the produce here is just insane and like yesterday almost made me cry like the farm we went to yeah, uh, it's awesome, secret garden. It? yeah, yeah. Um, the secret garden we went to yesterday was just insane too that's amazing like yeah it's it's it, for me I get excited about this kind of stuff no, I, I, love cannot, it. I can't oh, wait good. to get you in that kitchen to see what you make for us because uh, it's always a treat with awesome. Mark Cooks but I'm doubly looking forward to this thank you so much for stopping by this table <laughs> and if you want to find out more about the heart of the city restaurant month head along to the website heartofthecity.co.nz and if you can't make it to O'Connell's
Bistro tonight. Don't worry, as Ryan is going to show us how to prepare his Aura King salmon beetroot smoked, smoked ox tongue horseradish cream. <laughs> it's a mouthful. We've got to work on that title. Just after we check in with Holly.